guys welcome back to another video so today we're looking over market structure what market structure is how to identify breaks of structure market structure shifts intermediate term highs long-term highs short-term highs or swing highs and what those actually are defined as so you can start finding them in your charts and using them to your advantage so the first thing that has to be understood is what a market structure what market structure looks like in a bullish and bearish scenario so unless you're brand new, you're probably aware of what that looks like. But in a bullish scenario, you're looking for higher highs and higher lows. And essentially what that means is you're looking for resistance to be broken and you're looking for support to hold. So you're looking for this resistance line to be broken, this resistance to be broken, this resistance to be broken, and some form of support to hold. Typically those are fair value gaps, order blocks, things like that, breaker blocks. But this is what an uptrend would look like. This is bullish market structure. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And of course the bearish is the opposite, where you've got lower highs and lower lows, lower highs and lower lows, lower highs and lower lows, where you have resistance being broken or resistance being held and support being broken. Resistance being held, support being broken. Resistance being held, support being broken. And that's bearish market structure. All right, so now let's go over what a swing high is and what a swing low is. So a swing high, is a high with a lower high on either side right so you've got this high point this high right here you've got this high right here and you've got a lower high on either side right this high is below this high and this high is below this high therefore this point right here is your swing high So this is a swing high. And as soon as you get a candle like this to break above this, this swing high is no longer the swing high, but it does become the break of structure level. <clears throat> so this candle broke above this swing high and closed, meaning this is a bullish break of structure. Now, a swing low. A swing low is a low with higher lows on either side. So as you can see, this is the swing low here because we've got this low higher than this low and this low higher than this low. Therefore, this is a swing low, right? So this here is a swing low. Right, and in proper marker structure, if this is to continue bullish, you're going to see this high right here, a lower high or a sorry, a higher low right here. This is higher than this low. So a higher low than this candle here breaks market structure and creates a higher high, right? That's what we're looking at here. And if this was to continue bullishly, you would see a higher low, higher high, and continue on. But what I wanna show you here is that this is not only a swing low, this is what ICT would refer to as a displacement low. This is your displacement low. Now, what that really means is it means that it's a low that caused market structure to be broken to the opposite direction. So this is the displacement low. It was the low that caused the displacement move up that broke market structure. So this is your displacement low and you're looking to find your displacement high. So if we come down to this example over here, you can see here that this is your displacement low, right? This was your displacement low, and this was the candle that broke market structure to the upside, right? This was what was there before. We broke market structure, and then, for example, we formed this candle here, formed another swing low, right? This low is higher than, or is lower than this low, and lower than this low, so this is a swing low. And once this candle here once this candle breaks below that swing low and closes, you have a bearish break in structure. Now, for this example, we're going to pretend like we took liquidity out here, but we broke, li we broke structure to the downside, and this displacement low has become the market structure shift level, right? Because this is a swing low, but who's to say we don't create another swing low and another swing low before breaking out above this level, and then was this really the low? No, it was just a swing low. This is the swing low. 
right? This is a swing low, this is the swing low. This is what's considered the market structure shift is when this candle or any candle breaks down below this displacement low. The low that broke market structure is the displacement low and you wanna see that taken for a market structure shift, okay? And what ICT says is you wanna look for your fair value gaps in that displacement move of the candle that broke market structure. This is what he talks about, right? And for those of you that have watched some of my other videos, you know that we wanna look for things above. We wanna look for fair value gaps or premium PD arrays if we're going short. And since we swept liquidity, broke market structure, and ultimately shifted market structure, this is a market structure shift. We broke the displacement low. We now want to look for a fair value gap to enter on to ultimately target lower liquidity and lower prices. Now, this is the market structure shift. This is the break of structure. I think I've made that clear. These, although these, this is a swing low, this is a swing high, this is a swing high, and this is a swing low. This is also a swing high, but it's lower than this point. So what that means is this is actually an intermediate term high. Not just a swing high or a displacement high, this is actually an intermediate term high. So to give you a better idea as to what an intermediate term high is, let's go look at this example here. So this example right here is your intermediate term high, right? This is an intermediate term high. And what an intermediate term high is, is when you have a swing high on either side. And this just happens to be a market structure shift, right? So an intermediate term high has a swing high on either side below the intermediate term high. So you've got a swing high, swing low, swing high. And this is now creating, this doesn't actually matter if this is here or this point here, don't get caught up with this low here too much. The important thing to note is that you have a swing high that's formed after another swing high here. So this is a swing high until this swing high is formed. And once this swing high is formed, which is formed by having a high with a lower high on either side. Remember, it's a three candle formation. And once this swing high is formed, this becomes an intermediate term high, which holds more weight and is stronger than a short term high or a swing high. Now the next level up from this is you're looking at long term highs. Long term highs have intermediate term highs on either side. And in order for there to be an intermediate term high on either side, you need to have a swing high, an intermediate term high, a swing high. So this here, this whole section here is right here. Right, you can see that we have this short term high, intermediate term high, short term high, another high that's higher than all of these to do the exact same thing on the opposite side and make an intermediate term high, which needs a swing high on either side. This is even stronger. And if you combine that with the liquidity sweep, you can expect lower prices. And ultimately what you're going to then do is look for a way to get in, which is typically a premium PD array, fair value gap, or the block, things of that nature. And this here is the inverse for the low. So for example, you've got the long-term low, which needs an intermediate term low on either side. And remember, for there to be an intermediate term low, there would need to be a short term low on either side of this intermediate term low on either side. So just to recap, a swing low is a low with higher lows on either side, right? So this, for example, is a swing low, right? This is by classification a swing low because it has a lower low on either side, but it's not just a swing low. This is a long term low. This is a strong low. This is also a strong low but not quite as strong as a long-term low. A swing low or a short-term low is typically what I refer to those as. A swing low is just a low with a higher low on either side, right? This can also look like this. You've got a low with a higher low on either side. This is a swing low here. A swing high is a high with lower highs on either side. So this is a high with a lower high on either side. So this is a swing high. This is also a swing high because you have a high, this point right here, this top of this candle, with a higher or a lower high on either side. Once market stru or once structure is broken here, once we have this break of structure, this becomes a displacement low 
and becomes the level you're looking at for a market structure shift. This is your displacement low, and the level that forms up here becomes your displacement high. Right, so this example here where you have the market structure shift at the displacement low, this up here also becomes, this is an intermediate term high, let me just clear that up as well. So there's this swing high here, right? This this high right here is higher than this high and this high. So this can be a swing high, which means that you're looking for another swing high on the other side, <coughs> which is right here, right? This level right here was a swing high or a short-term high because it had a high, a higher high, and then a lower high. This is your swing high. When you have a swing high with another swing high and then a lower swing high, this is your intermediate term high. This breaks down, breaks structure to the downside. This is your first indication. And you are more than welcome to look for cells in a fair value gap that might be forming in here as well. This is called a low risk cell. But what ICP talks about is after the market structure shift is when you get it. So you want to look for the low that caused the high, and that's your market structure shift level. That will give you more confidence in making sure that price is actually going down. Right. So in a line graph, it would look like this. Low, high, higher, low, higher, high. What appears to be a higher low then fails to make a higher high. Note that this is higher than this point is here. As this fails to make a higher high, this comes down breaks market structure to the downside and then continues down to shift market structure. It's taking out the old low. Right? So the way that I like to think about it is although this here, this here is the break in structure, we could still be in a bullish market structure, right? We could just have short term lows here. We could be doing a short term low, short term low, and then breaking up here. Right? So this is still if you were to zoom out and look at this on a higher time frame, this would just look like normal bullish market structure because this pullback would just look like this. So in order to know that we are in fact changing market structure or shifting market structure, this low that caused the high has to be broken. And then you're looking for a retracement in to ultimately take your entry and then target the lower lows. So break in structure is a swing point that was broken and closed above or below, depending on if it's bullish or bearish. Right, so a swing high was closed above, so that's your break in structure. The swing low was closed below, that's your break in structure. The swing low that caused the swing high is your market structure shift level, or your displacement low or high, depending on if you're bullish or bearish market structure. And as you can see here, we broke this, came back up, and at this point we found this fair value gap here, we'd be looking for sells down low. Hopefully this stuff made sense, guys. I know it can be a little bit confusing and there's a lot to unpack with this. So let me know if you got any questions. Um, I'd be more than happy to answer those and uh, and expand on the topic more if that's something that needs to be covered. But in the future, I'm going to be going over liquidity, fair value gaps, order blocks, and anything else ICP related. All right, guys, so now I want to jump into some real world price action here. This is from Friday's session here and as you can see this was the liquidity that we had marked out. We came up and we swept this liquidity. There was no break in structure here so we're still looking for break in structure and market structure shifts. And some people would be marking this out here as a swing low. Right? Oh well that's the low. It might even be the displacement low at first glance but let's just go over what I was talking about before. As you can see here, does this low have a higher low on either side? So look at the low price right here in the top left corner. The low here is 41.84. On the right, we have 41.85. So this is a higher low. You can see that. And on the left, it's 41.84 again. So is this really a swing low? In my mind, it's not. Right, this is not a swing low. We don't have a higher low on either side. And the reason behind that is if you were to go down in a smaller time frame, we're already on the one minute, but if you were to go down in a smaller time frame, a 10 second, five second, you know, price is fractal. So on bigger time frames, think going down to five to 10 to one minute, even from a 15 minute, for example, but this would be a double bottom. This would be relatively below's, right? You have a low price came back up. Think about it. 
He came down, came back up. And then came down again and came back up, where you've created relative equal lows here. Not to mention with this low. So keep that in mind. This here is actually the swing low. This is the swing low here, right? Is there a low, a higher low on either side of this candle? No. Is there a higher low of e on either side of this candle? No, 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 no. Yes. Higher low, higher low. How about over on this side? No, no, this candle's lower. No, this candle's lower. No, this candle's lower. Right? So if you're if you're looking at this, we're looking for this level to be broken. And not only that, you can see that this candle here, this low, resulted in higher highs. Right? Higher highs, higher highs. And if you don't like this here, it came down, and this is still the swing low that led to this higher high that did in fact break market structure to the upside. Right here. Right? So you've got this break in structure like we were talking about before. And this was the swing low. This was not a swing low. This was the swing low that led to this. Right? So this is what we're interested in. This is not just a break in structure level. This is also our market structure shift level. And as you can see, price comes down here, breaks it, and this is displacement. And guess what, guys? This is our market structure shift level. This is our displacement low, right, that, we're talk that I've been talking about. This is your market structure shift. And then you're looking for your fair value gaps. From this candle's low to this candle's high, you've got your bearish fair value gap. And look at what price does. It comes in here, reacts, and sells off all the way down here. So guys, like I said earlier, if you got any questions, uh, make sure you drop those down in the comments, hit that like button, subscribe button, check me out on my other social medias if you think this information is useful, interesting, or helpful in any way. And uh, I'll make sure to answer those questions best I can so you guys can start changing the way you trade for the better. As always guys, I'll catch you on the next one.